what's up guys and thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh, today i'm gonna be doing the fcc arc on my gaggle 2 now some of you may be wondering why i'm gonna be doing the fcc hack on my gaggle 2 because i already live in the fcc region but for some reason i don't think my gaggles actually are in fcc mode uh, they seem to be in a CE mode, maybe. I'm not really sure. But uh, one of the ways you can find out if your goggles are in FCC mode is very simple. Uh, the only thing you have to do is go into the setting on a goggle, go into your transmission, and change your channel mode from automatic to manual. And I always use my goggle on auto. So once you change them to manual, you're gonna have a copper option as far as your band which goes. You're gonna have 40, 20, and 10 uh, megahertz, I believe. Uh, in 40 megahertz, you're only gonna have one channel available. If you only have one channel available, that means you are not really taking full advantage of your gaggle. Uh, once we do the FCC arc, it's actually gonna give us three different channels. Uh, big benefit of the FCC arc is that it's going to allow you to use multiple channels and it also allow you to unlock the power on your goggles. Uh, this arc does work with the O3 unit, the Vista, run conversion of the Vista, and it also work on the original air unit. Uh, the hack is very simple to do. It's pretty much similar to the hack that we did with the air units. If you Remember when those guys first came in, they were only able to go up to 700 milliwatts and it was a little hack that you had to do and uh, give you the option to go up to 1200 milliwatts. And I think that's pretty much the same idea with the FCC arc. Uh, the process of doing this arc is very simple. First, what you're going to need to do is format your SD card in your goggles. Second, uh, take your SD card out of your goggles and put it on the computer. Once on the computer, you're gonna to need to download this file and I'm gonna put a link for this file under the description section so you can just go straight to the link. Once you download that file, you need to put it on your SD card in the root of the SD card. Take the SD card out of your PC and put it on your gaggle and that's pretty much all you have to do. So in order to make sure that you actually did the FCC hack properly. You just need to go back into the gaggle, bind it to one of your drone, and this actually does work also with the Avada drone. I forgot to say that earlier. And just go into the setting, go into your transmission. You need to make sure your channel mode is on manual, and now you're gonna have access to more channel. If you look under my bandwidth, uh, 40 millihertz. Uh, earlier, before the arc, I only had one channel. Now I got three different channels. And the same goes for 20 and 10 uh, millihertz. Now you're going to have seven channels available at your disposition. And of course, you do have access to much higher power level when you're flying, which is make for you know a much better experience. Unfortunately, with the Gabo O2, we actually don't see what power you're using. So you can't really tell how much power you are you have a lock a uh, very easy process the whole thing take less than five minutes make sure that you have your channel mode on manual because if you are automatic then you are not using the fcc app thanks for watching this video guys and i will see you on the next one